Hello, today I'd like to present and explain to you the inner workings of my newest project and maybe inspire some people to build on that concept. To start things off, I'd like to thank two people, first and foremost Patrick Hansen, from whose video I took the whole idea for this project. Uh, you should definitely check out his channel, he makes great Space Engineers video, videos more, more focused on scripting. And the second person is Khalid Partusi, who in the comments of my demo video that I posted on Reddit, uh, suggested adding a script that you will see in the works uh, now. Well, the scripted part of the video just ended, so I will just go off now. The whole project is made to... is focused at keeping this middle part very stable when the suspension is working. And you can see it even here without the scripts enabled. The whole setup for this is to swap my old platform for uh, moving cargo. So I have these huge trains of cargo moving through the deserts on my survival world. And I'd like them to be more stable. So this is the whole concept for that. As you can probably see here, they all started as a platform here. And the cabin is just a proof of concept that you can put anything on it and it will be still stable. So, it's very basic. I just put uh, very vanilla necessary things, decorated it a bit. Two beds, some kitchen armory. Nothing fancy, but I've tried to keep the center of the mass in the middle. And I think I've, su I've succeeded pretty well. This is the center of mass. It's a bit to the left, maybe uh, 10 centimeters. Nothing much. So, the whole ship works on a basis where these two and these two suspensions push as hard as they can, or maybe not as hard as at 25% as I remember correctly, onto that platform that is connected with a rotor that is turned off to the middle. I had a version that where this rotor was connect controlled by a programmable block, but I think I like this version better. It's more mechanical, uh, more stable. Oh, a lag. All right, and this thing here, these two and the ones on the back are turned on and the script is controlling them. And the script is called Suspension Spring by Sunoko. So this script is trying to keep these four little platforms, these are all subgrades, uh, at zero, zero degrees. So they will always come back to this horizontal position, but when any force is applied, this will move up. And if the force of the whole creation is greater than the force that the rotor is applying, it will stay a bit up. Of course, the wheels uh, normal uh, work normally. They, of course, use their suspension. But this is for the very minor disturbances in the plot in the surface. And this is more for like mountains or anything else. I think this rotor is locked at maximum 25 uh, degrees tilt, and these are locked at like 35 percent uh, degrees. Unfortunately, you cannot place ladders in the half blocks. They have to be on a like gridable full block. So this is a bit off, but oh well. You can you can access it from the bottom. Oh, lovely! Very fast. All right. Uh, you can also have a map piece or something. That piece. But this is where the magic starts. All right, the aligning script is on, but it's not very important now, you can turn it off. You see the whole thing tilt a bit, because these two wheels have the same force applying, so the whole cabin just just aligned with the terrain. No. 
So this rotor should be at zero degrees or around zero degrees. Also, this it has a pretty nice clearance. I've set up a small obstacle run here. The slower you're going, the less visible it will be, but I will try to demonstrate it. Parking brake off. You will see the suspension move. You're seeing the smaller part now moving. The subgrids. But you can also see a bit of that large rotor moving here. And the cabin is pretty stable at the time. As I said, the faster you are going, the more visible it will be. But now, this is where the magic starts. Thanks to oh, Halipatusi, who suggested adding the script here. We can turn on the script, raise the wheels, so this cabin will now be perfectly aligned to the gravity of the planet. As you can see, it's a bit off. And now when we are going, the whole cabin is always perfectly aligned. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. And you will see the whole suspension part moving way better. But this is only for very slow moving or very hard terrain. And of course, when you will be on a when you find yourself on a very steep tilt, like a mountain here, you might hit the, the terrain with your, with your cabin. This is why I would suggest when you are moving very fast and you are not paying attention, just using the suspension without the script at all. When you want to settle, like, alright, I want my base to be here, you engage the parking brake, with the script, the parking brake it doesn't really work that well, but you have to have some. Uh, you have to give something to the <laughs> to the clank, I guess. But all right, we are nearly touching the ground here with the script because it's trying to align the cabin to the planet's gravity. All right, let's stop here. Stop moving, please. Here. All right, it's moving a bit, but oh well, lags. Now we can push the suspension, turn off the gravity aligner, and you will be clear to go because the suspension will only work while you are changing your surface very fast. So, for example, here it will change a bit to the left but it will correct itself. With the gravity aligner, you would simply see the cabin always aligned perfectly with the, uh, with the planet's gravity. For example, here you can see as it goes. All right, I think that's all from the narration. I'll just drive around with it for a bit. It's a bit wobbly with you when you have the script turned off, but it gives. When you are on a very steep terrain, it, it helps a lot, so I guess you've got to trade something for something.
All right, at the end I would like to, because I forgot of course, I would like to show you all the scripts I used in here. So this is one, one of the most important ones. This is the most important one, period. Gravity Aligner by um, Sean L. Palmer. Very nice script. Uh, of course, Suspension Spring by uh, Sunoko. Subgrid Steering by... I would just paste a little nick over here, maybe. Automatic LCDs. The, I'm not using them yet because this is just a proof, proof of concept, so I would just use them maybe here. Oh, I didn't even know this is here. Oh well, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I didn't even turn that on. Oh, the script does it by itself. That's nice. And battery status, because the whole thing runs on batteries and one large reactor here, because I couldn't fit any solar panels. By... Oh, who is it? Richie Sedler or Lightwolf. Yep, that's that. There's nothing here, just a med bay. This is just a proof of concept again, so you can build upon the build upon it, maybe reiterate the whole thing. But yeah, the creation just slides down. Uh, sometimes when I want to, because of course this is just a demo, I fiddle with the settings. So, uh, Einer is the... It's a group with the controls, with the script and with the gyroscope to keep the middle cabin aligned. S power all the suspension parts. I generally keep them at, 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 at maximum offset of course, but at 21% strength. Sometimes I bump it up to maybe 35. But the more important part is this. So these are all the wheels. Uh, suspension wheels back left, suspension wheels back right. These are all uh, grouped, so we can change them up. But the friction setting is the most important one. If you want the whole creation to be more responsive and, for example, go on a rougher terrain, you will set it always to 35. This is a checked number. But if you do this, you will have to bump up the S power if you don't want to see the whole cabin tilting while you are just turning on a flat surface. You probably saw it a bit when I was... Oops, I forgot about that. Yeah, don't drive around with... I wouldn't suggest driving around with the script turned on. But if you turn too hard at too high speed with too much friction, the middle cabin won't be enough to keep it stable. So the more you put into the friction, I would suggest putting more into the power that goes into the suspension that keeps the middle cabin, cabin aligned. But this is just a suggestion, so you do you. All right, I think that's all. If there's anything, I will just make an ending card with all the info I forgot to tell you about. And have a nice day again. <laughs> See you.